first chronicles four verse one. First Chronicles chapter four verse one. Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Now Jabez was on, more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez. And his mother called his name Jabez. Saying, Because I bore him in pain. And the mom says, Because I give birth to my son in great pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel. And saying, Jabez called upon the God of Israel. Oh, that you would bless me indeed. That this God of Abraham, Isaac, A Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will bless me and bless me indeed. And enlarge my territory. That the Lord will enlarge my territory. That your hand will be with me. That your mighty hand may be upon me. And that you would keep me from evil. That you deliver me from anything that is evil. That I may not cause pain. That Lord, you will not bring pain and suffering in my life. So God granted him what he requested. And I love it when the Bible says, And God heard his prayer and answered it. He heard his prayer. And he answered it the same way. God is still hearing prayers and he's still answering. God is still what? Hearing, hearing the prayers of the saint and he is busy answering. As long as you and I are believing. Holy believe. Holy believe. Mark chapter 5 verse 36. Holy believe. Holy believe. And you shall see the glory of God. Now. Reading it, focus on the part where it says that your hand may be upon me. We are dealing with the hand may be upon me. Jabez asked the Lord that, Lord, may your hand be upon me. So read it again. Okay. So then, and that your hand will be with me. Mm -hmm. And that you will keep me from evil. That I may not cause pain. That your hand may be with me. And that's what we are focusing on this season. That the mighty hand of the Lord God will be upon your life. Mm -hmm. For when the Lord's hand is upon your life, no weapon formed, fashioned against you shall ever prosper. When the mighty hand of the Lord is upon your life, no evil executed against you will succeed. Your enemies will not be able to carry out their enterprise against you Amen. because the good hand of the Lord, the gracious hand of the Lord, the mighty hand of the Lord is upon thee. And Jabez understood and had a revelation of what the hand of the Lord can be upon you. So today we are going to pray that the hand of the Lord will be upon us. The first thing that we can learn from the hand of God coming upon a person is taken from Ezra chapter 8 verse 21 and my wife will be reading Mr. Esther will be reading verse 30 verse 31 you'll be reading Ezra 8 31 but then verse 21 says then Ezra chapter 8 verse 21 then I proclaim a fast there at the river of Ahava that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek from him the right way for us and our little ones and all our possession so they proclaimed a fast just as a fasting has been proclaimed and we are fasting and seeking the face of the lord ezra also wanted god's divine preservation and protection and he called for a fast it's my prayer that this fast will bring deliverance and protection and preservation upon you your sons, your daughters, your husband, your relatives, your friends, your loved ones, protection for your possession, your job, your going out and your coming in. So we proclaim a fast day at the river of Ahaba that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek from him the right way for us, our little one, right way for us, our little ones. So they were praying for themselves, for their children, our possession, that the Lord will protect their possession. For I was ashamed to request of the kings from the king an escort of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemies on the road. Because we had spoken to the king, saying, The hand of our God, listen, the hand of our God is upon all those for good who seek him, but his power and his wrath are against all those who forsake him. His hand is against them but his hand is for those who seek him for good so what is the representation of the good hand of the lord last time we pray that the good hand of the lord 
will bring into your life divine helpers. Why? Because if you read verse 18, Ezra chapter 8, verse 18. Can you read verse 18? The good hand of Ezra the Lord. Chapter 8, verse 18. He said, Then by the good hand of our God. By the what? By the good hand of our God. By the what? By the good hand of our God upon us, they brought us a man of understanding of the son of Maha, the son of Levi. So this man that came was a man of great potential, great understanding, and they exactly what they needed. The good hand of the Lord brought somebody as a divine helper, a destiny helper to them to come and assist them. And I pray that during this fasting, the good hand of the Lord will begin to handpick and begin to release into your life destiny helpers, Amen. destiny changes, Amen. divine helpers, Amen. people who will come into your life not to scam you, not to deceive you, not to use you, not to abuse you, not to exploit you. Not to take advantage of you, but people who the Lord himself has touched them, anointed their heart to come and be good to you. He says the good hand of the Lord brought this man to us. And this was a man of understanding because we needed somebody to come and help us. And the Lord, through his good hand, began to lead this man into our lives and when he came he was a solution to our problem i proclaim i declare and i decree i prophesy to somebody that the good hand of the lord is going to bring somebody to be an answer to your problem an answer to your crisis an answer to your challenge an answer to your answered prayer god is sending you a divine helper Amen. god is sending you a solution giver Amen. god is bringing somebody into your life to become a resource to you the good hand of the lord is bringing a man a woman somebody who will recommend who will give you the what you are looking for in the name of jesus i want us to pray father let your good hand Begin, begin to bring into my life into my, my, life. Divine my divine helper my destiny helper, my destiny helper. In, the in the name of jesus father wherever my destiny helper is father, wherever, my, destiny wherever helper my divine helpers are wherever my divine helpers people are, are going to be who are going to say yes to me people who are going to say yes to me and help me and help me to fulfill to fulfill your purpose for my life Lord, Lord, begin. begin. Let, your good hand Let your good hand connect me, connect me to my divine helper. To my divine Somebody, the good hand of the Lord is bringing you your husband. The good hand of the Lord is bringing you your wife. The good hand of the Lord is bringing somebody who is going to give you that recommendation. The good hand of the Lord is going to give somebody who is going to help you with your knowledge with their money, with their time, and with their resources to make sure that you succeed in your business or you succeed in whatever you want to do. Somebody, God's good hand, is connecting you to your destiny helpers. Father, we are going to pray this prayer. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, connect me to my divine helper. Din connect me. Connect me. Without divine helpers, life is a struggle. Life is a challenge. People will keep on disappointing you. People will keep on rejecting you. People will keep on shutting, slam doors to your dreams and vision. People will keep on saying no to you. But when God connects you with your divine helpers, they begin to come in and say, yes, I'm willing to help you. I'm going to do anything to make sure your dreams become a reality. Father, connect me through by your good hand by your good hand lord jesus heavenly father in the name of jesus heavenly father in the name of jesus by your good hand connect me to my destiny helper with my destiny helper to my dream helpers begin to pray in the name of jesus Father, in the name of Jesus, by your good hand, by your good hand, connect me, Lord.
connect us, Lord, to my divine helpers, to my divine helpers, to my destiny helpers, to my divine helpers, to my destiny helpers, by your good hand, by your good hand, wherever my divine helpers are, Lord, touch them, Lord, bring them, bring them into my life, bring them to Fresh Fire Ministry, bring them into my wife's life, bring them to my husband's life, bring them into my children's life, to come and help my children, to come and help my wife, to come and help my husband, to come and help me, O oh Lord, to come and help my business, to come and help my vision, to come and help my purpose. Lord God Almighty, begin, O oh God, to connect me to my destiny helper. Whoever must help me, must bless me, must assist me, must aid me to fulfill your purpose for my life. In the name of Jesus, as I pray, let the good hand of the Lord, let the good hand of the Lord, let the good hand of the Lord connect me, Lord, by your good hand. Connect me, Lord, by your good hand to my divine helpers. In the name of Jesus, by your good hand, connect me, O Lord. Let the good hand of the Lord connect you, connect you right now. Connect you right now. Connect you right now. May you be at the right place at the right time to meet your divine helpers. May you be at the right place at the right time to receive your divine helpers. In the name of Jesus. You will not miss your divine helpers. They will not reject you anymore. They will not deny you anymore. They will not ignore you anymore. Oh God Almighty, let your good hand send me divine helpers. Send me destiny helpers. Father, destiny changes. People that will come and help me to succeed. That will come and help me out of my problem. Somebody you are in, in a problem. You are in a challenge. May the Lord send you help. May the Lord send you your divine helpers. That will bring you out of that situation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody, you find yourself in a crisis. And sometimes all you need is the right person to come and give you the counsel, the direction. Oh, talk to this person. Oh, talk to that person. Get this contact number. Call this lawyer. Or talk to this doctor. Or talk to this guy. And your problem is solved. Only one. You just need the good hand of the Lord to connect you with your destiny helper, your destiny changer. The one who will help you fulfill, uh, to come out of that problem. And you find yourself stuck. May the Lord bring the person who has the solution. When you are in problems, you don't need people who come and say, Oh, you know what? Oh, I feel sorry for you. Oh, I feel sorry. I don't need you feeling sorry and feeling pity for me. I want solution out of my problem. I want solution. Solution. People give solution. People who can help you. If you need money to pay the bills, it's not the time for you to say, oh, let me fast with you and pray with you. Oh, my sister, you need somebody who will come in and say, hey, my sister, get this money and go and settle this thing. You need people who carry solutions. People who carry solutions, who don't just come and sympathize and come and feel sorry for you and come and say, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. God will do it. I need solution makers. Solution. I need solution. And some of you need some solution to bring maybe you have a court case you need a solution god to connect you with some good lawyer who will just work with you and help you come out of that situation you need uh, some health challenges and somebody will connect you with somebody and you say oh don't worry instead of going through this i am going to I'm, I'm i'm going to do this and you are out of that problem you need people who will bring real solution uh, you are unemployed somebody go connect you with somebody say, oh you no know, call call this call this person you know, he's my friend and he'll connect you. The next minute you are having a job. I need real solution. Destiny helpers. Destiny helpers. Destiny helpers. People who come into your life and change your destiny. And change your life. They don't just talk. They are. They are. They, they do things. They are action. They, they are people of action. We have too many people talking. 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 They don't do nothing. And they leave you in your state. And they will promise and fail you and all those things. We need people who, by the time you finish... They are already so their solution they carry the solution before you even brought the problem they carry the solution because before you spoke they have given you the solution already and you are out of that mess in the name of jesus christ may the lord connect you to that divine helper and that destiny changer and may you come out of whatever crisis you find yourself in jesus name now the second thing the hand of the lord can do for a person but his power and his wrath against all those who forsake him so the hand of the lord is able to it it it, it favors you god's hand favors you god's hands preserve you but his hand is against your enemies listen 
He said, the hand of our God is upon all those for good who seek him, but his power and his wrath are against all those who forsake him. So the right hand of power is against. That same hand can be against your enemies, mm -hmm. your adversaries, those who have chosen to rise up against you. And so when the hand of the Lord came upon them, it began to bring divine protection. So when you read the same Ezra chapter 8 verse 31, let's see Ezra what happened. 8 verse 31. Start from end there. And it said, then we departed from the river mm -hmm. of Ahava. Okay, then, so Ezra 8 verse 31. Then we departed from the river of Ahava on the 12th day of the first month to go to Jerusalem. And the hand of our God was and upon And the us. hand of our God was upon us. When God's hand comes upon you, this is what it will do for you. And he delivered us from the hand of the enemies. And he will deliver you from your enemies. And from ambushed along the road. And from the ambush along the road. When the hand of the Lord came upon them. <coughs> Sorry. When the hand of the Lord came upon the children of God. It begins to what? Deliver them. Yes. When the hand of the Lord comes upon you. It delivers you from witchcraft attacks. Amen. It delivers you from demonic attacks. Amen. It delivers you from the plans of your enemies. Amen. It delivers you from the wickedness of the wicked. Amen. It delivers you from the expectations of your adversaries. The hand of the Lord brings deliverance from enemies and from satanic, demonic ambushment, conspiracy, devices, satanic plot and devices against you. So there are some people, it doesn't matter how their enemies connive and conspire and plot and scheme and devise and, and project evil and wickedness against them. They are always escaping because the hand of the Lord is upon them to deliver them from their enemies. And there, there were enemies that were waiting for them on the road. But because the hand of the Lord was upon them, their enemies could not touch them. I pray so, oh, uh, I'm, I'm dreaming and I'm seeing witches. Uh, I'm going to work and I'm seeing witches. Uh, in my in my neighbor, my neighbor is a witch. My roommate is a witch. My workplace, they are, my, they are witches. I can't take it anymore. Please, all you need is the hand of the Lord upon your life. And the witches can do you no harm. The Bible says no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper. The reason why every witch and every wizard probably is penetrating to attack you because you are not invoking the hand of the Lord upon your life. Because when the hand of the Lord is upon your life to protect and preserve you, it delivers you from your enemies. Amen. Amen. The hand of the Lord was upon us and delivered. When the hand of the Lord was upon Daniel, they put him in the lion's den and the lions dare, dare not devour his body. Why? Because you couldn't touch Daniel. The hand of the Lord was upon him. They tried to kill Joseph. His brothers tried to kill him. They could not. They tried to make him a slave. They did not succeed. Why? Because the hand of the Lord was upon Joseph. So you could not kill him. Saul tried many times to kill David. The Bible says that. And Saul tried again and again. All, all throughout his life to kill David. But he could not. Because the hand of the Lord was upon David to preserve good David. Paul fought David every day, but every day God was delivering him, the hand of the Lord. If the hand of the Lord is not upon you, the witches will keep on fighting you, attacking you, harassing you, frustrating you. Until That's why some people, I go here, witches. I go there, witches. So, so your life is full of witches. Everywhere you go, they are waiting for you. Why? Because you, instead of focusing on the witches, no, I would rather focus, Lord, let your hand be upon me. Because if it is with me, it doesn't matter where I go. Because you are going to set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. At my workplace, you set a table before me in my presence of my enemies. In my community, you set a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Wherever I go, your, my enemies can never touch me because I carry the hand of the Lord. I am too dangerous to be tempered with. I am too fiery for you to try to attack me. Because if you dare my life, my God will destroy you. Because he says that the hand of the Lord is against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hand of the Lord. The hand of our God is upon all those for good who seek him. And his power. By his power 
and his wrath are against all those who forsake him. His wrath is against my enemies. His hand is against my enemies. If you dare my life, my God will kill you. If you dare my life, my God will kill you. If you trouble me, my God will trouble you. If you attack me, my God will attack you. If you challenge me, my God will challenge you. If you fight me, my God will fight you. If you contend with me, my God will contend with you. If you rise up against you, against me, my God will rise up against you. Why? Because his hand is upon me. So mm, rather, I am praying that the Lord's hands will be upon me. I'm not going to waste my time with witches. Oh, this witch and that witch and that witch and that witch. I don't have time. Oh, Lord, let your hand be upon me. To protect me and deliver me. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The fire was waiting for them. But the fire could not burn them. The fire could not burn them. The fire, the fire, the fire, the fire of attack, the fire of demons, the fire of witches against your marriage, against your finances, against your health, against your son. Whatever fire and whatever lions, whatever beasts have been released against you, as long as the hand of the Lord is upon you, no weapon. They will, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 19, they shall fight against you, but they will not prevail against you. Because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. When God's hand is upon you, your enemies try the will, but fail, they will fail. They will never succeed. You are going to pray. Father, let your hand deliver me. Lord Jesus, let your hand deliver me from all my enemies and from all the attacks of my enemies. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of let, Jesus your hand, let your good 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 hand, let right, your right good now it's not hand. even the good hand, let your judgment hand, let your judgment hand, deliver me, deliver me, okay it is good because we are now, it is benefiting us, let your good hand, let your good hand, deliver me, deliver me, and my family, and my family, from my enemies, from my enemies, from my adversaries, from my adversaries, from their attacks, from their attacks, from their, plans, from their plans, from their bewitchment, from their, bewitchment, from their, sorcery, from their sorcery, from their curses, from their, curses, from their, arrows, from their arrows, from their plots, from their plot, let, your hand let your good hand deliver me, deliver and, my me family, and my entire family from, family, from every plans of my enemies. Lord, let your good hand deliver me from the ambushment of my enemies, from the plot of my enemies. Begin to pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. Let the good hand of the Lord deliver me, deliver you, deliver our children, deliver our marriage, deliver our family, deliver our sons and daughters from every plans of the enemy, from the wickedness of the wicked, from the onslaught of the enemy. From the arrows and darts of our enemies, from the evil expectations of our enemies, let the good hand of the Lord, let the good hand of the Lord bring deliverance, bring deliverance, bring deliverance from every trap, from every conspiracy, from every satanic plot, whatever evil, verdicts, evil plots against you. Let the good hand of the Lord deliver you. Let the good hand of the Lord deliver you. Let the good hand of the Lord deliver you from the plans of your enemies, from the plot of your enemies, from the device of the enemies, from the agenda of your enemies, from their evil arrows, from their evil darts, from their conspiracy, from their evil attacks, from their bewitchment, from their spells, their charms, their hexes, their spells. Let the good hand of the Lord deliver you. Rekabalabos, rekatayada. Oh Lord, let your good hand deliver me from accident, deliver me from surgery, deliver me from premature death, deliver me from every calamity, deliver me from every misfortune, deliver me from every crisis, deliver me from every complications, deliver me from every pain, every hurt, every sorrow, deliver me from every attack. Deliver me from every curses. Let your hand deliver me. Let your hand exempt me. Let your hand deliver my son. Let your hand deliver my daughter. Let your hand deliver my children. Let your hand deliver my wife. Let your hand deliver my husband. 
Let your hand deliver my marriage. Let your hand deliver my job. Let your hand deliver my family from the attacks of the enemy, from the invasion of the, my enemies. Let the good hand of the Lord bring deliverance. Bring deliverance. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now we continue. The other verse. Isaiah. Ah, Isaiah. Isaiah 5 verse 25. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 25. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 5, 5 verse 25. 25. It says, Therefore the anger of the Lord arose against his people. So the anger of the Lord arose against his people. And has stretched out his hand. And he has stretched forth his what? Hand and he has them. stretched forth his what? His hand against them. Against them. God can stretch forth his hand against your adversary, against your enemies. Continue. And stricken and stricken them. And has stricken them. Strike them. And the hills trembled. And the hills trembled. And their carcasses were as refused. As refuse. As refuse in the midst of the street. And as refuse. When God's hand is upon you, and it is now against your enemies. When God's hands come upon you, it automatically goes against your enemies. When God's hand is upon you, it automatically begins to fight your enemies. And that's what I'm saying. Focus on God's hands coming upon you. Instead of thinking about the witches and wizards and demons. They will, demons are... The ones were, demons were there before you were born. When you are dead and gone, demons will still be around. Before your mother was born, your father was born, your great demon don't die. They will always be there. Witchcraft don't die. The witch can die, but the witch, that witchcraft will still remain to keep on doing evil. So focus on the hand of the Lord being upon you so that they don't, cannot succeed in carrying their enterprise against you, their evil against you. Stop focusing on witches. So, so stop focusing on your enemies. Focus on God and let his hand be upon you. Because the witches, the witchcraft spirit will always be there. Demons are going to be there. Satan has always been Satan. Up to now, he's still Satan. When you die and you go, he will still be Satan. And he'll still be creating havoc on this world. All you need is the hand of the Lord to be upon you. And they will try. They will try, but they will not succeed. They try to destroy some, uh, um, uh, Joshua, uh, Joseph. Joseph, they didn't succeed. They tried to destroy Daniel. They didn't succeed. They tried to destroy Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They didn't succeed. Focus on the hand of the Lord upon your life. You are you are losing your focus. That's why you are afraid of witches. You are afraid of wizards. You are afraid of everybody. You are afraid of everybody. Even you are afraid of your shadow. Some of you are afraid of your own shadow. In the night, as they wake up and see their shadow, hey Jesus! Oh, it wasn't any ghost. It was your own shadow. You are so much afraid of witches to the point that your own shadow is carrying you. Your own shadow. People hear a little bit sound, which a witch is a demon. Focus on the hand of the Lord being upon you because when the hand of the Lord is upon you, no weapon can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, so now we act. No, we are not going there. The, the, uh, Isaiah. It says the hand of the Lord. Read it again. Isaiah chapter. Isaiah, verse two, Isaiah 5. Verse 25. Isaiah 5. The hand of the Lord begins to fight for you. Verse 25. He said, Therefore the anger of the Lord is aroused against his people. He has stretched out his hand against them and stricken them and the hills. And stricken them. So whenever God's hand is against a person, he he's able them. to what? Strike them. You are them. going to pray, Father, let your hand of vengeance your hand of vengeance and judgment be stretched against my enemies yeah. and begin to strike them. Begin to strike them. Begin to strike them in the name of Jesus. He has stricken them. He has stricken them. And he, he has stricken them. And the hills trembled. And their carcasses, meaning when he strike them, they begin to perish. They begin to be slaughtered. And then they began to lie as refuge in the midst of the streets. Father, Whoever is an unrepented agent who wish me dead, who wish me destroyed, who wish me not to fulfill your destiny, who wish to destroy my destiny and my life, 
Lord, let your right hand, let your hand of judgment, let your hand of vengeance be stretched against that die-hard witch, that die-hard wizard, that die-hard strong man, that die-hard strong woman who refuses to allow me to go, who refuses to allow me to prosper, who is refusing to let me be, be, become pregnant, who is refusing to let me become to get married, who is refusing to get me to let me get a job, whoever has decided to frustrate my life, to trouble my life, to humiliate my life, to disgrace my life, to embarrass my life to make sure that i amount to nothing and i become a reproach and a byword and a radical father stretch forth your hand and begin to strike that witch strike that wizard strike that evil spirit strike that spirit husband strike that spirit husband strike that spirit wife strike that monitoring evil spirit strike that agent strike that familiar spirit strike that agent that person who has been always showing up in my dream as a snake showing up in my dream as a dog as a cat to trouble me lord stretch forth your hand and strike them in the name of jesus as i pray let the hand of the lord strike my enemies to perish let it strike them, my enemies to die let it strike my enemies to perish whoever is that witch whoever is that wizard whoever is that strong man whoever is that strong woman whoever is the unrepented witch a, a stubborn demon a stubborn witch lord strike them dead strike them dead begin to strike them and let them perish strike them and let them perish in the name of jesus lord stretch forth your hand Stretch forth your hand against the wicked, against my enemies, against my adversaries, against every unrepented witch, wizard who want to kill me, who want to destroy me, who want to humiliate me, who want to sabotage your purpose for my life. Lord, strike them and let them perish. Strike them as you strike. You strike Pharaoh. You strike Jezebel. You strike Herod. Strike them, O God. Strike them, O God. Strike them, O God. Until they perish, strike that strong man, strike that strong woman, strike that strong woman, strike that agent, strike that snake, strike that beast, strike that spirit husband, strike that spirit wife, strike that familiar spirit, strike that monetary spirit, strike that generational spirit that is troubling my life, that is delaying my life, that is hindering my destiny. Lord, strike them, Lord, strike them, Lord, strike them, Lord, strike them with your hand, with your right hand of judgment of vengeance of judgment of vengeance strike them let them perish strike them let them perish every witch in my mother's house any wizard in my mother's house troubling my son troubling my daughters troubling my wife troubling my ministry troubling my husband troubling my education troubling my destiny strike them O lord strike them dead strike them to perish strike them dead strike them to perish strike them dead strike them to perish Strike them dead. Strike them to perish. Strike them and let them die. Let them perish. Let them perish, O Lord. Strike them. Whoever wants to kill you, may the Lord strike them. May the Lord strike them. May the Lord strike them. Let them perish in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, may the Lord's hand be against your enemies. May the Lord strike them. Whoever has been flying to visit you, in the night and causes sleep paralysis suffocating you coming to sleep with you coming to coming to feed you coming to do uh, have sex with you may the angel of the lord may the hand of the lord strike them Amen. whoever is sitting on your blessing sitting on your breakthrough denying you access to your blessing your breakthrough may the hand of the lord strike them in jesus name Amen. strike them in jesus name strike them in jesus name Amen. may they perish may they fall down and die somebody troubling you in the next three days, they will drop dead in Jesus' name. They will perish and you'll begin to experience victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The final scripture. Acts yeah. chapter 13, verse 11. And now indeed, the hand of the Lord is upon you. And now the hand of the Lord is upon you. And you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a time. You shall not be seen. There was somebody who was frustrating the ministry called Elimas, who was frustrating the destiny, the ministry of Paul. And he was, and that's what some people are doing. They are frustrating you. They are frustrating you. They are frustrating your, your marriage, frustrating your finances, frustrating your children, frustrating you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it says, um, so at 13, verse 8, he said, But Elimas, the sorcerer, for so his name is translated, withstood them. 
seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. We stood them. Somebody is blocking you. Somebody is hindering you. Somebody is challenging you. Somebody says they will not let you become pregnant. They will not let you get a job. They will not let you get promotion. They will not let you get that raise. They will not let you get your deliverance. They will not let you get married. Somebody is determined to withstand you, to frustrate every prophetic word of the Lord. Somebody is trying to make sure you never get happy. You never fulfill your dreams. You never finish school. You never get a job. You never smile in life. You never say, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody has decided, and that was what this elements was doing to frustrate the work of God. To, and Paul says, Enough is enough. You have troubled me enough. I strike you. Let the hand of the Lord strike you with blindness. Strike you with blindness. You are going to pray, Father, whoever has been frustrating my life, whoever has been messing my life, whoever has been troubling my life, whoever, some people are troubling you left and right, may the Lord strike them with blindness. May the Lord strike them with blindness. May the Lord strike them with blindness so that they can't find you anymore. They can't see you anymore. They can't trouble you anymore. Somebody has set his eyes on you and they have decided that they will frustrate you wherever they are. A witch can decide that it is their destiny agenda to make sure that they frustrate you until you uh, they are destroyed. Whoever has purpose in their heart that their sole agenda and vision and, and plan for life is to make to harass and frustrate your life. May the Lord strike them with blindness. May the Lord strike them with blindness so that they can't see you anymore, let alone to be able to fight you. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, stretch forth your hand of judgment, stretch forth your hand of vengeance, of execution, and strike. Strike, 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 strike every agent, every agent. Strike, strike every witch, every, witch. every wizard, every, wizard. Every, strong man. every strong man, every strong woman, every strong any, personality any personality who is troubling me, is harassing me, harassing frustrating, me. frustrating. Your, your purpose in my life. Strike them with blindness, strike them, strike them with blindness, strike them with, strike them with blindness. Strike them with blindness. And what happened when he was stricken? He says, and then it says, indeed. Then the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind, not seeing the sun for a time. And immediately, and immediately, a dark mist, a dark mist fell on him. Fell and, on him. And he went around seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Immediately, immediately, a witch. Immediately a wizard, immediately somebody in your mother's house, immediately somebody in your father's house who is sitting on your blessing, who is dis denying you blessing, prosperity, favor, marriage, a job, promotion, peace, laughter. May the Lord strike them sadly. Amen. Strike them immediately. Amen. Expeditiously. Amen. Expeditiously. Amen. Expeditiously. Amen. Let them be blinded. Amen. By the hand of the Lord. Amen. Let them be blinded. Amen. Let that witch be blinded. Amen. Let that wizard be blinded. Amen. Let that agent be blinded. Amen. Let that strong man be blinded. Amen. Begin to say, Lord, blind my enemies. Lord, blind my by your mighty hand. By your mighty Begin hand. to pray that prayer right now. Father, blind them. Blind them. Blind them. Blind them, oh God. Blind them, oh God. Blind them, oh God. Blind them, oh God. Let them be blinded. Stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. Of judgment. Of vengeance. Of persecution and blind and blind any household witch, any household wizard, any familiar witch, any tenor witch, any external wizard, any agent, any snakes, any anyone fighting our destinies. Lord blind them, 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 Lord blind them. Right now, right now, right now, strike them with blindness. Strike them with blindness, sudden blindness. Strike them with blindness. Strike that witch. Strike that wizard. Strike that agent. Strike them with blindness. In the name of Jesus. Kaya dabos. Kaya daba. 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 Kaya dabos. Strike my enemies, every enemy of Samuel, of Sonia, of Esther, of Sarah, of Fred Family, of the members, of our partners. Oh Lord, remember us now. Whoever is troubling us, whoever is withholding us, withstanding us, blocking us, hindering us, obstructing us, resisting us, challenging us, strike them with blindness. Strike them with blindness. 
Strike them with blindness. Strike them with blindness. Strike them with blindness. Let them go blind. Let them go blind. Let them go blind. Let them go blind. Let my enemies go blind. In Jesus' name. As predictions blindness. Let it before my enemies. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Suddenly, he went blind. Somebody, suddenly, somebody around you. You will not even see their face. They will tell you they just quit the job. They just quit. They are blinded. They are blinded. Somebody in your family will begin to complain. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes. They've gone blind. They can't see you anymore to use their crystal ball, their mirrors, and their charms to bewitch you anymore. Because the law strikes them right now. Expeditiously. 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 Speedily. Quickly. Fast. Fast. Immediately. Judgment. Is coming upon and that enemy came, in Jesus. What and what happened? Verse 12, he said, Then the proconsul believed when he saw what had been done, being astonished wow. at the teaching of the Lord. So the proconsul couldn't believe because this guy who was a witch, a, a wizard, a sorcerer, was blocking him. Immediately he was stricken. Mm -hmm. The proconsul began to see. The proconsul began to receive his liberty, salvation. his salvation, and his blessing. Some people, until the Lord strike them, you cannot make it. You cannot succeed. You cannot get married. You cannot get a job. You cannot get a promotion. You cannot see the light of the day. You cannot see any good thing. Because they have resolved that over their dead body that you will ever amount to anything. So you are. Ah, may the Lord strike them and blind them. In fact, some people, the Lord will do it so much that they cannot talk to you anymore. And they can never see you eye to eye anymore because they are blinded. They are blinded spiritually that they don't want to see you anymore. And that is the beginning of your miracles and breakthrough. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Join the fasting. Join the fasting. Tomorrow is Friday. I told you not to give up on the fast. Fast because deliverance and miracles and blessings are taking place. The fasting is from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. And we meet at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., 4 a.m. for those of you in England, and 5 a.m. for those of you in any part of Europe. Get the book also. This season, we, um, this month especially, we are using the book Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers. Deliverance from Blessing Destroyers. This book will help you how to get the blessing, how to protect the blessing, and how to be sensitive to the things that attacks your blessing. In this book, there are some dreams. Immediately, you, you have those kind of dreams. It means your blessing is under attack. Your blessing is under attack. It means that the devil is trying to bring you down. And that is, uh, that is demonic witchcraft orchestrated dreams. Demonic orchestrated dreams. In this book, you'll find 30 dreams that shows, your, that shows you that your blessing is under attack by witches or wizards. Then I have 35 prayers to cancel this evil satanic dreams. And you also find the scriptures to use to cancel the dreams. You also have how to overcome the four major causes of poverty. What is causing people to have financial difficulties and poverty? You will find the four causes. 11 witchcraft activities that destroy the blessing. 11 witchcraft. I will show you the secret of witchcraft. How they cause poverty and destroy people's blessing 16 demons that attacks finances and blessing prayers to overcome demonic operations against you and also prayers to overcome witchcraft activities against your blessing and then finally you will learn the nine spiritual element to get to do to get blessed and sustain your blessing by god get your copy if you if if you have the book start reading it and start praying the prayers and you shall sense the glory of god um, making you break through this season in Jesus name deliverance from blessing destroyers we carry it on ebook and kindle only during the season kindle and, uh, and ebook go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com for any donation any giving any sacrifice any offering any type to support the ministry you can do so by going to our website www.freshfireprayer.com and um, if it's cash up, it's fresh fire prayer. Tomorrow is Friday. Our scripture reading is um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Uh, so tomorrow we are also taking communion. And so all of you uh, fast and believe God. that. So tomorrow as you fast, I want you to emphasize on the prayers we did today. 
Lord, let your hand. Every time we do a prayer, the next day, let it be your prayer topic, including the um, the J prayers of Jabez. Um, the prayers of Jabez, you can find it on our website. The prayers of Jabez, you can find it on our website. Go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. At the right hand side of the um, website, you see current event. Current event. You click on the current event, and there you will see the prayers of Jabez. You can either use your phone to take a picture of it, you can write it, you can scan it, whatever, however you do it to get it. And then you start praying it every day. And when you are praying, you have your prayer mantle with you. Use the prayer mantle. To me, every day I use the mantle for even my children. You can, if your son or daughter or whatever is sick or whatever, you tie it around their hands and as they sleep and say, Father, because the Bible says that in the book of Acts, that true, so that even Acts chapter 90 verse 12, so that even the handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and their illness and were cured and evil spirits left them. If you have faith, sicknesses, evil spirits, demonic attacks will leave you. How can you say you are fasting, having your mantle anointed? You pray the Psalms 23, three times on your anointing. You are putting on it. You have anointed yourself and you have put this on your pillow to sleep and you're having nightmare or have anointed yourself. People must understand spiritual things. When you are praying, you can tie it on your wrist and you pray with it. Let people think you are crazy, but you know what you are doing. And that's why you see Indians and they have their mark and they have their red bands. Why? Because they know what they are tapping, the source, their source of energy. But we, our source is on the Lord Jesus Christ. And we believe in tokens and symbols. That this season, this mantle, just as the mantle came out of the hands of the apostles, apostles and brought healing and deliverance from demonic powers, as we are fasting and we are using our mantle, any unclean spirit, any demonic entities, anything that is not of the devil, or is of the devil against us, will be respelled because we carry the mantle of prayer and the mantle of Christ with us and signs and wonders will take place in Jesus' name. So as many as do it in faith, you shall see the glory and the goodness of God in Jesus' name. God bless each and every one of you who have been supporting us every month with your donation. May God richly bless you. We couldn't have done it without you. May the Lord Almighty remember you and grant you your heart to request your heart desire speedily in Jesus' mighty name. May the blessing of God locate each and every one of you. God willing, tomorrow we will meet as we continue to pray. Shalom, peace, and prosperity be unto you all. Bye. Bye, and God bless everyone. God bless everyone.